Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to discuss a heartbreaking event that unfolded just days ago, the powerful earthquake that struck Morocco, leaving devastation in its wake. Most of you are watching our channel but have not subscribed, so please subscribe. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. A powerful earthquake struck Morocco on Friday night, September 8, 2023, killing at least 2,000 people and injuring more than 5,000. The earthquake had a magnitude of 6.8, making it the most powerful to hit Morocco in more than a century. The epicenter of the quake was located in the High Atlas Mountains, about 71 kilometers, 44 miles, southwest of Marrakesh. The tremors were felt across a wide area, including in the capital Rabat, Casablanca, and Agadir. The most affected areas are in the provinces of al Haouz and Taroudan, where many villages have been flattened. The earthquake also caused damage in the cities of Marrakesh, Ouarzazate, and Azalal. In the village of Amizmiz near the epicenter, rescue workers picked through rubble with their bare hands. Fallen masonry blocked narrow streets. Outside a hospital, around 10 bodies lay covered in blankets as grieving relatives stood nearby. When I felt the earth shaking beneath my feet and the house leaning, I rushed to get my kids out, but my neighbors couldn't, said Mohammed Azal. Unfortunately, no one was found alive in that family. The father and son were found dead, and they are still looking for the mother and the daughter. Nearly all the houses in the area of Asni, some 40 kilometers south of Marrakesh, were damaged, and villagers were preparing to spend the night outside. Food was in short supply as roofs had collapsed on kitchens, said villager Mohammed Uhamo. Laborer Abdelatif Eight Bella lay on the ground, unable to move or speak his head bandaged from wounds inflicted by falling debris. We have no house to take him to and have had no food since yesterday, said his wife, Saida Bodchich, fearing for the future of their family of six with their sole breadwinner so badly hurt. We can rely on nobody but God. The village is already mourning ten deaths, including two teenage girls, an inhabitant said. Tremors were felt as far away as Huelva and Yayan in southern Spain. The World Health Organization said more than 300,000 people were affected in Marrakesh and surrounding areas. The Moroccan government has declared a state of emergency in the affected areas and is providing relief to survivors. The earthquake is a major humanitarian crisis, and the full extent of the damage is still being assessed. The Moroccan government is working to provide food, water, shelter, and medical care to survivors. The United Nations and other international organizations are also providing assistance. Rescue workers are still searching for survivors, but the death toll is expected to rise. The full extent of the damage is still being assessed, but it is clear that the earthquake has caused a major humanitarian crisis. The earthquake is a reminder of the vulnerability of Morocco to natural disasters. The country is located in a seismically active region, and it has been hit by several major earthquakes in the past. The Moroccan government is working to improve the country's earthquake preparedness, but more needs to be done. The government needs to invest in building codes that will make buildings more earthquake-resistant, and it needs to educate the public about earthquake safety. The Morocco earthquake is a tragedy, but it is also an opportunity for the country to improve its earthquake preparedness. By taking steps to make the country more resilient to earthquakes, Morocco can save lives and protect its people from future disasters. We hope we shed some light on what's happening in Morocco. We hope you find this information useful for future videos. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 